hello hello you are watching ds tech media available on youtube dtube bitshoot and library i'm your host jay and today we are going to be talking about a video editor that i do not normally use i normally use kden live but in this video we're going to be looking at flowblade uh, version 2.0 I downloaded Flowblade months back when version 2.0 came out and I've been messing with it here and there but recently with my last video that I uploaded uh, it was about mines title was mines earn crypto for your content well, I edited that video with Got the, uh, Flowblade, Mines Messenger. and that was my my Very first time like actually Facebook editing Messenger a video peers using Flowblade, and I I thought it was and, uh, you know pretty good. Feed. I didn't do anything too you can of course drastic like in the video. It was just simple wire, transitions and cuts and whatnot. It was a relatively simple video. You can but remind, in the process of doing that, I felt I learned basically Flowblade well enough to possibly show you guys the images or what I think files. about. You've got your discovery. So uh, here we have the website. Flowblade is a multi-track non-linear video editor released under the GNU Public License 3 license. From beginners to master, Flowblade helps make your vision a reality of image and sound. Flowblade supports all the media that in general can be accessed in a Linux system when the FFmpeg library is working as the back end. Typical startup message on terminal tells that 146 formats, 78 video codecs, and 58 audio codecs are available to be used. A set of industry standard tools, editing tools, configurable workflow, make adding, moving, and trimming clips a breeze. Composite, mix, filter, and animate. Combine and mix images and audio with the powerful tools available. Color correct image to suit your vision and modify audio to get the mood you wish to express. It also features the GMic tool, which is a powerful open source image filtering technology that Flowblade makes easily available with a dedicated tool. See the demo video. And we've got some screenshots and some uh, user quotes. And it's actually using the MLT framework, which is the Media Lovin' Toolkit multimedia framework and as you can see here that is the same technology that Kaden Lives uses so it's safe to say that most of what we rely on in Kaden Live we will also be able to find in Flowblade okay so with that said let's go ahead and open it up And uh, the first thing you're going to notice is the the user interface is actually uh, pretty nice looking. I, I think it might be GTK based. Could be wrong about that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that Mines project. So we can of course uh, zoom in on the timeline. Okay, so let's just go through the user interface. So your projects are broken up into bins, which is basically, you know, if you wanted to make a bin for your video files, your audio files, your image files, etc. and so forth, you could do that by adding new bins. And we can rename them to... Yeah. And then we have sequences, and we can set up different sequences 
with we can have maybe all video tracks and no audio tracks and that's what you see here and this is how you add the media image sequences I have not really tried that yet we can turn the timeline filters off and on just the tracks we can add watermarks we can manage our disk cache and of course there's a whole bunch of preset profiles and these are of course preferences we can set a default profile uh, you can set an auto save you can remember last media directory render directory how many undos you want to stack up set thumbnail folder rendered clips folder media lookup order on load absolute pass first relative second graphics default length Cover, transition, fade clips on delete if possible. Hmm. You can set your middle mouse button, your horizontal button. Change where your playhead's going to start. Hide your extensions. You got various uh, playback settings down to speed of your uh, scrubbing you have single window and two windows two windows basically gives you your timeline preview and your clip preview in a separate window outside of the interface you can't just pop it out you have to restart it which is a little a little annoying but and then you have various themes etc and so forth three panels versus two panels as you can see this is in three panel mode and then of course the cautionary performance message and you can change your render threads and your allow frame dropping I'm not gonna mess with any of that This uh, allows you to customize your uh, tool setup and you can see what you have active here so clicking one through eight changes your different editing roles which is uh, you know you got ripple trim regular roll keyframe cut insert space or multi trim and of course move and just change those with your numeric keys so that's that's actually pretty pretty simple and useful and this is where you change what is active for your keys you can set the position so renumber them And you also get a description of what each tool does specifically when you hover. So it's got good good tool tips. We can see our 
you know, we, we have a complete mixer here. So there's a master volume. And then your audio tracks, your video tracks. To BitChute and Library. Which I, th I really do like that, that feature. And of course we have a titler. Oops. Oh, this is the G mic effects, which I'm not gonna lie, I do not know anything about G mic. I've spent a little bit of time uh, trying to figure it out, and it just it didn't seem like anything that was too useful to me. But that is a feature that they uh, make prominent. And of course we've got a title editor, much like Caden Live does, so Pretty basic title uh, effects editor. I don't think it includes any type of animation function like you have with uh, Kaden Live. I believe you can add that in with your compositing and effects. The uh, range log, I'm pretty sure, is. Or if we were to set like an in and an out point, yep. And you can basically just, you don't have to make a whole bunch of new pieces and you don't have to drag them to your timeline. You can literally just set them all up in here first and make comments on them, favorite them, then drag them to the timeline later. There is a uh, batch render queue. But I haven't really been able to figure out exactly what that feature does yet. I'm not sure if it's broken. If you go to render here. Yeah, basically you can change it to load different arguments for FFmpeg and, and things like that. You can render a marked range, so just a section of the video. Over here we've got filters and compositors, which I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. This is your monitor versus your timeline preview. These are a couple little other views that you can change. I haven't really messed with them a whole lot. You can of course add markers, view the properties for the clip. Uh, you can do comparative matching of frames. All clips after versus all clips before. Clone and add our filters, or clone and clear our filters. And here we have different filters.
and this slider uh, represents the position of the selected frame and the filter and this is add a keyframe point remove moving various spaces It is nice to have all of your filters in one spot as opposed to Caden Live. So it's all about um, getting getting used to everything. Oh, and there's also a proxy manager, manager that lets you switch between using proxies or using original media, which is always awesome if you're working on like a laptop or uh, weaker powered systems. And we can just clear all the filters off just like that. We're back to where we started. Uh, these are uh, various ending editing tools so we've got we can append we can insert overwrite we can overwrite now range clips we can range delete ripple delete which that is actually a cool uh, tool you can of course split the audio resync selected clips, cut active tracks, add rendered transition, or fade if you only have one clip selected. These are your zoom controls, redo, undo, and etc. and so forth. So it's, it's actually a really intuitive interface. So the, I like that about it. The ripple trim, the, this is actually a pretty pretty cool feature so this is the ripple trim and using this if we trim this section of a video everything else moves forward to match up so we don't have to adjust it later okay so let's go ahead and add a compositor We got picture within a picture. We got fades. Until the lock is removed. All nodes in the cluster receive the right. Should have used. And we can easily do things like that. Alternatively, I mean, it's it's this simple just to do a quick little picture within a picture edit. So yeah, I'm I'm by no means an expert at this. But I figured um, I'd gotten decent enough that I could give you a little demonstration here.
Okay, so I found this and I just had to add it after the fact. This is a keyframe editor and with it we can add keyframes for volume up and down okay so this is what your uh, wallet page showing your your pluses for contributions this is what it looks like but we can also edit the brightness keyframes Okay, so this is what your uh, wallet page showing your your pluses for contributions. This is what it looks like. And I thought that was just a pretty nice this little addition. Also, well, we can create a pattern producer, color clip, compound clip. We can import media from another project. Looks like it's limited to flow blade projects. We can recreate media icons. And we can even remove our unused media. So that removed my uh, title clips because they're not in the timeline. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. Have you tried Flowblade? What are your thoughts on it? I know a lot of people in general use Caden Live. I'm not saying that I'm switching to Flowblade. Because uh, I obviously still have a lot to learn about it, but I do think that it does have a lot of benefits to offer. And Caden uh, Live still has benefits to offer over Flowblade, but they're both uh, free and open source software, and they're both pretty powerful. Like I said, please let me know what you think of each one. And I'm working on getting more content out for you guys. Uh, we are growing. Slowly but surely, we are growing on Mines, D2, BitChute. Not sure about Library, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to have to check into that. They're promising me a, a bunch of things, so I have to have to get back to them with that. Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe if you found this video at all helpful. And if you hated it, let me know why. Thumbs it down. Thanks for watching DS Tech Media, and we'll see you in the next one.